So what's the single most important part of your vacation? Where you lay your head? Or who you lay with. The hotel is the one thing that you can book in advance, and it can make or break your entire holiday. So that's why you have us, Kelly and Ryan, your hotel confidential spies. And we're here to help you make the best decision before you book. What are the hotel's best parts, and what should you know before you go? Plus, since we both like different things, we can give you the girl and the guy perspective. Today, Kelly and I are checking into one of Manhattan's poshest hotels, the Gansevoort and Meatpacking. This place has been uber trendy for years, and the location means I'll have the hottest restaurants and shopping right outside my door. It's centrally located, the 14th Street stop is right around the corner, and we can literally walk to Soho, Chelsea, and take a quick cab ride to Broadway for a show. Let's go. Usually, I don't stay in hotels quite this swanky, but Kelly loves these spots. <gasps> yes! Oh, baby, time to jump over there. The first thing I always do is check out the view, and this one is incredible. Oh, so, the three most important things to me in a hotel room are obviously an awesome bed, a big screen TV, and nice room service. Hmm, what will I have today? A great hotel bathroom is the icing on the cake, and I like this one a lot because they have Cutler products. These are awesome. I'm gonna have to stock up on some of these. And it's important to figure out how to get on the Wi-Fi. Here we go. Ooh, they have a hair dryer. Their spa is the Exhale Spa, and it's located in-house, which is great for a relaxing massage or even a quick pedicure. They also have a hair salon, so I'm going to try to get my hair blown out for tonight. This gym has all sorts of amazing equipment, but I like to get my exercise outdoors, and I hear they give out free bikes. So I'm gonna go take this sucker for a spin on the Hudson River while Kelly's in the spa. See you later. So are you hungry after that big workout? Kelly, I'm a dude. I'm always hungry. <laughs> well, good, because I ordered us some sandwiches so we can fuel up before our big night out. Perfect. Ooh, that looks, looks good. Looks delicious. Thank, Thank you. Very much. Appreciate it. So we spied the room, the spa, the gym. Kelly, what you're forgetting one major thing. We gotta try drinks. Oh, that's right. Okay, the lobby bar is right here. Let's do it. Let's check it out. Kelly, you know, this place knows how to party. This is just one of three bars on the premises, and there's a nightclub next door called Provocateur that really, I've heard, gets down. And for the day party, they have the rooftop punch, which has a pool and a bar. Kelly, it seems like we have endless options to get down. Cheers. Cheers to that. Ugh, I could just lie by this pool all day. You know what, Kelly? I am gonna lie by this pool all day because we are guests and we have special access to this. Oh, baby, I'm in love and life. I love it, too. Plus, they serve food and drink up here all day, so we don't have to leave. Good, and at nighttime, they tell me this is the Happiness Club in New York City, so all I'm right. just gonna stay right here. I'm parked right here all day. Let's stay at Plunge all day. So I think we spied this hotel very well. Ryan, what's your take? Kelly, this place is one of the sexiest hotels I've ever stayed at. It's stylish, it's luxurious, and it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's also in a prime location. I don't think there's one that I'd rather stay in in New York City. But there is one thing. I wouldn't come here if you're with the family or with little kids. Yeah, or if you don't like to party. I mean, it's really great for a hip young couple or singles or people just looking to have a great time. Like us. Like us. Cheers, girl. Cheers.